To identify epithelia, all you need to do is look at the layers and look at the shape. Now remember, epithelia is lining an open space, so you have to start from the open space and move away from it. So here, we don't have multiple layers of cells, we have multiple single layers of cells that are all lining their own open space. So this will be simple. And then when we look at the shape of the cells, you might debate, you know, is that a cube or is that a column? However, pay attention to the shape of the nuclei. If it is a circular nuclei, it is cuboidal. So that makes this simple cuboidal epithelium. It's as simple as that. Here, we once again have multiple single layers of cells. So it is simple. And when we look at the shape of those cells, they are very clearly little rectangles. And if you couldn't see the little rectangular shapes, you still see those oval nuclei, which tells you it is simple columnar. So we have a lot of open space here. This slide is mostly open space and lining that open space is the single layer. So it is simple. And although you cannot see the shape of the cells, they're definitely not cubes. They're definitely not columns. They're those flat little pancakes, which makes this simple squamous. So in between there and there is our epithelia. Now we see there are multiple rows of nuclei within the epithelial layer, which tells us there's going to be multiple layers of cells, which makes this stratified. And then the shape of the cell that you want to pay attention to is towards the top. Those flat pancake cells, those are squamous squashed cells, which makes this stratified squamous. So we have two rows of nuclei here, which makes this stratified. And although you can't see the shape of the cells clearly, you see those circular nuclei, so you know it's cuboidal, which makes this stratified cuboidal. If you go to the school that I work at, please scrub this term from your head because it is not in your lab book. And if you put stratified cuboidal on your test, it is wrong. However, it is an epithelium that exists, so I am including it here. So in the epithelial layer, we do see multiple layers of cells. So this is looks stratified. And if you look at the shape of the cells, if you had to pick a shape, you would say they are columns. However, look at the top. You see those cilia? You never see cilia in stratified epithelia. So this is kind of a trick. This is kind of a trap. This is not actually stratified columnar. Because you see those cilia, you know that this is ciliated pseudostratified columnar. So pseudo means fake or false. So these are fake layers because there are some short cells, some tall cells, but every cell is touching the basement membrane. So to remember this, I think it's hairy fake layers ciliated pseudostratified. So looking in the epithelial layer, we see multiple layers of cells. So this is a stratified epithelium. And then when we think about the shape, um, we feel confused because they're not squamous, they're not cuboidal, they're not columnar. When you see that, that means you are looking at transitional. So transitional epithelium 
is a stratified epithelium. We just don't say the word stratified in the name. All right, well, that is all the examples I have today. I do have other videos on this topic where I show them side by side, followed by practice questions. If you are still confused about transitional, I do have an entire video dedicated just to that because so many people have trouble with it. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day and have fun learning.